Hi, John Hunter of REL Acoustics. I'm the lead designer for REL. And we're here to show you the S510. This is the latest iteration of S, which falls mid-pack between our TI, which is our entry-level value product, and the reference, which as the name suggests, is the very best we know how to do. These use compact cabinets and beautiful drivers and amplifiers. In this case, we have a 10-inch active and a 12-inch downfiring passive that have been completely upgraded from the last generation. We are at 500 watts now versus 400. And the entire premise of this is to deliver a, a range that plays louder, is faster, goes deeper, actually connects up better and more seamlessly up at the upper range of it where it meets up with the main speaker. This is a small to medium sized cabinet in this range that permits beautiful blending with speakers that would be, let's say, in the 1,500 pound to, say, 5,000 pound range. In US dollars, that would be, say, $2,000 to $10,000, typically in that range. This latest iteration uses a 10 inch driver, as did the outgoing model, but this has been upgraded to handle a full 600 watts. It's a little mini beast of a 10 inch driver, so it's still very quick and pistonic, goes deeper than the outgoing model did, handles more power, plays louder, and it really allows um, what we wanted to accomplish, particularly in theater, where this piece has really got all of the technology that we build into our HT Pure Home Theater range, and that produces huge amounts of dynamics and output. It puts a strain on the amplifier, so we're forced to upgrade the amplifier by 20% in order to allow it to handle that. The driver is faster, it's better damped. We literally use carbon fiber on portions of the back of the cone. You can't see it from the outside, but it stabilizes, it keeps everything quiet, and it keeps it together because quite honestly, we have so much power now that we can literally deform the cone under load. And the carbon fiber for about the, the weight of a single sheet of paper allows all of that to happen, stay together, and the dynamics, the intensity that this can produce actually outperforms many aspects of the outgoing S5. To accomplish our goals on the new Series S, we upgraded the power specification on both of the amplifiers. The outgoing model is 400, this new one is 500. We have special filters that literally are called perfect filters. They both linearize and extend the extreme bottom end, and they allow for more air and delicacy at the extreme top end. They're really incredible. In addition, you can see doubles. We have uh, inputs and outputs of our high level, and we have XLR balanced inputs. Sort of in order, what we've got here is the ability to connect directly to the balanced outputs on a lot of high-end uh, AVR receivers and also AV processors. These days, people are running big theaters. The cables tend to run a fairly long distance, maybe 20 or 30 meters, and balance is a much better way to do that. So we've accommodated that. And because we have these duplicates, you may be wondering, what is that about? Are we doing stereo? No. What this allows you to do is to be able to come in and then flow out in order to be able to stack these because this is the first time we've ever offered reference line array capabilities in our medium-sized product. So it's incredibly important to us that our cabinets be physically beautiful and sound fantastic. To that end, what we've done is we've actually sort of shrunken the blockiness of the outgoing range. They're not quite as tall. We've borrowed some tricks and techniques from our big number 25 reference design. A little shallower in height, a little bit wider, and it's cab forward, meaning it floats forward there. It doesn't appear to be anything from many angles that supports the cabinet, but we've got these beautiful frame rails underneath. And what the rails do is allow two things. They allow that cab forward aspect to occur, and they also make for perfect and very stable stackability, which is designed into these products from the beginning. Additionally, you know, we're known for incredible lacquer work. We've got 12 coats of hand rubbed, hand sanded lacquer here. The, the finish is not just beautiful and shiny, it has real depth to it. And depth occurs because we've got great cabinet joinery and everything is flat to begin with. It lets you see, like a show car, far down into the paint. We've gone through and just made everything very, very subtle. We've got these beautiful new gunmetal gray badging. We've got large, really substantial cast stainless steel and then polished for like hours. Handles that have rebates that allow you to easily grasp this, lift it, heft it into position, reposition it, incredibly important obviously for stacking, but everything about this has become physically better and aesthetically much more subtle and more beautiful. Succinctly, what we set out to do was more, better, and less. More quality, more power, more presence, more punch, better in the sense that it does far better at big home theater presentation. 
It has all of the special filters we developed for our home theater range that allow that massive kind of powerful presentation to it. And less in the sense that the cabinets are less blocky. They just look more elegant and, and presented. Everything about this has been upgraded. The driver is up specified to handle a 600 watt amplifier, but we're only throwing 500 watts at it. The amplifier has been upgraded from 400 to 500. Everything about this has gotten better. We have better connectivity. We have upgraded wireless. There's no part of this that we've gone, well, that's just good enough. We'll let it go with that. Everything about these is incredibly improved, and I think you're going to love the results.